Red Cloud went to meet with President Ulysses S. Grant. Red Cloud was a peace chief. He had opposed the white man, but now something had changed in him. He had seen the cities, the machines, the number of people. He saw the inevitability of the white man. We welcome Chief Red Cloud of the Oglala Nation. He came here to witness the ways of our people. We invite him to hear our words and recognize the sincerity of our promises. Oh, sit, sit. We look, Peta. I come from where the sun sets. You were raised on chairs. I want to sit as I sit where the sun sets. I have two mountains in the Dakotas. I want no roads there. I ask that he remove Fort Fetterman. Fort Fetterman must remain. Fort Fetterman, I ask that he remove Fort Fetterman. As a protection for Indians and whites alike. I am not at heart an aggressive expansionist. I do not believe in it. What I do believe in is one nation for all. Half a million of my people died recently for one nation. Can Chief Red Cloud control his warriors? Can he keep peace? Whose voice was heard first in this land? It was the red people who used the bow. Our nation is melting like the snow on the sides of the hills when the sun is warm. While your people are like the blades of grass in springtime when summer is coming. You tell him this very directly. Survival is victory, Chief Red Cloud. You can't stop us now. You can only survive among us. This is your land. Why these lines? Boundaries. Where the land ends. It is lies. What did he say? Lies.
the Americans invaded our sacred Black Hills. I came to the Northern Cheyenne when their reservation was in the Black Hills country. But white men found gold there, so the Indians had to move out. The Cheyenne were told that they had to go to another reservation, but not many of them moved. They said it was no use, as the white men might want that reservation too. The army did not invade the Black Hills. They went in to try to stop the flow of settlers. Back east, the banking houses failed. The stock market crashed. Farm prices plummeted during the worst grasshopper plague in history. 20% of the city's labor forces were unemployed. Nice talk. There were more people in jail than any other time in the history of the nation. Homeless tramps roamed the country. The nation needed expansion to the west. Oh, oh, oh. out, touch an enemy, count coup. <laughs> Bloody knife, my friend, why are you not out here living like a real Indian? Kagi. It is finished? Is it? It is time to live like the white man. Progress. Crazy Horse had this to say about those treaties which he never signed. One does not sell the land upon which all living things walk. gave up all hope of ever living peacefully with the white man. <laughs> <laughs> 